little video of explanation. So we had realtor who has a group of people, um, partners he invests in with that previously owned the house. Um, I still get the previous owner's mail to this day, no matter how many times I've said return to sender. I am still getting mail from that, them. So from day one, when we moved into the house, we did not, um, the realtor convinced us that we didn't need a home inspector, gave us $5,000 deposit for the house, really helped the numbers crunch. They really made everything work and pushed together for a home that we really couldn't afford, but convinced us we could. Um, day we moved in, kitchen flooded in my kitchen. Then we had um, pipes broken in the basement when we found out where the leak was coming from. We had no insurance that would cover any of it because we did not have a home inspector right when we moved in. Um, we still have not fixed the um, pipes or anything, so the pipes just kept damaging all the way through. Um, Cymbalta, Hugo was on Cymbalta denied mortgage insurance because he was on Cymbalta medication, which they told him he has to be five years off of. So my true theory of this whole thing, because we still get the mail from the previous business or previous owners from this home who are partners with the realtor and do investments of other properties. Um, this is my theory. And they were, they saw us as a vulnerable family and um, Scotia Bank and his team all have their, it's called black marketing investment is what it is. What this is happening here, in my opinions of everything, is what they have done, ensured that we would not be able to afford the home with the damages done to it. Then the bank takes back the house, they fix the house, and it goes into an investment of properties. And guess what? There's a lot of partners involved in investment of properties. If you take time to really look at my diaphragm you'll see cracked basement pipe in the corner underneath the cement kitchen pipes backed all the way up how is this family medical family who just went lost and suffering going to afford just the beginning it costs of five thousand dollars of cleaning it that's not even fixing it yet so um it's the end of our house guys we're done. Um, the house is a disaster. We ran out of time. We said, whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. Gave up. And honestly, it's going to cost the bank a lot more to fix the house than whoop, anything else. So we're all done, guys. It's done. And all the best. Remember, your family is a gift that lasts forever. One step at a time, guys. And there it is. All done. Welcome to my, enjoy our broken Jumanji, peaceful rage, Rachel peace. There we go. Goodbye to our home and new lifestyles.